What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial, Titan Clockman from Skibbity Toilet. So this is a complicated looking character, so real tall. So we'll get like his shoulders and head, there's like four clocks on his head and shoulders anyway. So let's go, lots of circles, spirals, pretty tricky. If you have something like that's the right size circle wise to trace around, um, feel free to use it. If not, you can just go for the sort of free hand. So the first one's like here, okay? And there's like circles and spirals and stuff all around. <clears throat> so we'll just mark it out, sort of. Go right there and go around here. And there. Right, so we're going to just go around now with this. We'll get it as circular as we can. And then it starts to spiral, so it becomes a spiral in there somewhere. So we'll just try and tidy this up now. Okay, sort of circle there. And this down here is the start of the spiral that goes inside, right? So we'll go like around. It spirals around until it gets like real small, sort of there. So we'll double this up now so it kind of comes, it's real thin in the middle and then it starts to go back around this way. comes down into the wall of the clock that way and then it has these circles so it's got like black holes or something on the face of it and then like hands of clocks and it's like it's like something coming out here it looks like the hand of a clock maybe another one up here And these are black inside here as well. Yeah, keep going. So black in there. And then there's like two little dots here as well. So it's like a clock inside a clock. And then like all these sort of Roman numerals, right? They gradually sort of get bigger as they come around. You could just do sort of random, doesn't have to be like accurate or anything. You can just go mark them out and it comes around spiraling. Coming around this way. This kind of a stuff all blend just like X's as well, XI and then like an X on its own. It seems to disappear up here for some reason. And then there's like dots and lots of stuff all inside here. And then there's like an extra line on the spiral. 
is there yeah looks like there is like another sort of center line that goes around so this is a real detailed character now so we'll take our time so we've got like a golden circle that goes around here right so it comes all the way around and we'll just go for it all the way around the face right and this will have sort of bumps along the top and the sides and everything like extra sort of circle lines like rims and Right, and then lines all the inside this as well. So you just kind of go around a couple of times. And then like more all down here. It's just they keep going around and around and around. They're kind of like spirals, but they're kind of more edge lines and all this kind of stuff. Okay. So then he seems to have like things like ears or something here on the side. I guess they're like actual parts of his head. All around here. Right. And then he's a helmet, right? So he's got like a part that comes up the side. Come around here and we'll give it inside. Right, and then the top of the helmet here. Top of the helmet there. It's got like a little cap or something. Ooh, a cap here. And like an edge line or something there. And then a rectangle at the front. Right. So he also has this these sort of fins or something that go all the way around to the back of the helmet, right? So it like curves out here. It looks like a collar. You know, wings kind of sticking out this way. And these like go around the back of his head. Around back here. And they circle the whole way around and back to the other side. Right, and then we got like edge lines on this. So when you're drawing metal things, these lines around the edge are always like pretty useful. Got a gap in the helmet here actually. Edge line there. Here as well. Okay, so that's the head, right? Now we have a series of circles, like a big circle on the stomach and then shoulder pads and stuff, right? So we'll go for this this small circle that's here. It's like a vent or something. There, and this seems to have like an edge that goes around.
Right, and then we seem to have another big circle down, down around here, a big black one. So we'll go. Right, real big, now this one. Comes down around the chest. There, right? And it's kind of, his body's like turned side. So it has another circle in here. It's kind of off center. So it's like over to the left a little bit. So what I mean is like, it's kind of skinnier over here. This, this line, see that? And it'll get fatter over this side. This makes it look like the circle is facing away from us. See, it like makes it look like it's going that way, basically. There's like a golden clip or something here. And then we have more of these lines coming around. Right, so we'll go, we'll go on this side. And this will go like right off the edge. There. And we'll give it another sort of edge line just to make it look a little bit three-dimensional. Right, like that. And then we got clocks inside, so like, and there's like shines and stuff, so you can't really make them out. So we're gonna go like sketchy kind of, because if you were coloring, there'll be like a white shine on all these, and like hands of clocks and stuff on this. And with Roman numerals and stuff on all this. So lots of this kind of stuff. Okay, and then like little sort of lines and stuff that go around the clocks themselves, like lots of these shapes and things. But again, these will be like sort of colored over, kind of be all orange and like shining parts to make it look like it's glass. So you'll like have like white parts and everything. It's all obscured, kind of like the stuff that's on his shoulder as well. And there's all the reflections of buildings and stuff all in this. And there's like another circle here. So it's just kind of brown and then with white on top. Brown and sort of golden. And then more sort of Roman numeral stuff. So you can get as detailed as you want with that now. But you know, you'd want just dark shadows and lots of different things colored inside there. So, then, shoulder pad, right? So we've got like a shoulder pad going up underneath here. It disappears behind a clock. So we've got like another shape there and then this seems to have a bit of an edge line going that way and then metal plates and stuff connecting everything together so we go down this way right and you have all these sort of v shapes for each plate then and they overlap one another and the final one to be here this is like the long shoulder, long shoulder pad, right? So the next one, up, down. It goes underneath, another one here. You've got like the 
these sort of edge lines and things. Metal, you know, have all these rims and bumps and stuff on them like that. And we'll keep going. Next one down. Next one up to there. To there. And this one's weird. See, so we'll just go like this and then add edges. So the reason I stopped here is that we have sort of a spike. Like that, right? So crazy detail on this guy now. Right, and then we have the clock that's on his shoulder right so it's like it's got a base on it like this and it's just glass you could draw the clock inside but again it'd be like this it'd be kind of obscured so what i'll do is like make it look like a shiny glass that you can't see inside basically but if you want to draw all that stuff that's in there and then color over it you can feel free but I think it's best to just sort of leave it like that. You can maybe draw like a light sort of circle oh, with some stuff inside. But you know, difficult to see it, so. So I think I'll leave it like that and then color over so it's kind of like fuzzy. Okay, so the other shoulder pad is smaller and there's lots of, there's an arm here with details on the arm. Well, where does that go? Okay, well, we'll do, maybe we'll do the arm here first. So we got like chest armor or something there, which spikes in around into there. And then his body seems to go down this way. He's got like, this sort of oval here, and this has an edge to it. It seems to go in that way, and then we step down for the side body. And then he's got an arm shape. We'll just get the main shapes in first before we add all the details, I guess. So another sort of shoulder area and then an arm going down that way right so that's his body and there's all like metal plates and stuff in there we'll go over and we'll do the other one right so we've got another one of these clocks on the shoulder on this side as well and yeah so this kind of like comes up here and then it goes shoulder pad that way and then it goes down. Out here, steps in. And then it has another shoulder pad on top of that. This one is like smaller than this one. Not as many plates and stuff. So we'll go up to there. And then we've got that sort of base of that clock here you can't see the bottom of it because it's obscured by the edge of this shoulder pad right so it goes sort of in behind here and then up let's put some lines just on the base of this okay and then we have the glass cover so again it just goes like around and then down like that and if you want you know just some light little sketchy sort of things inside here just to make it look like we've got some 
detail stuff going on at the back. But there's all sorts of things in this that are kind of obscured by like white shines and golden shadows and all this kind of thing. So we'll just leave it sort of like that. Right, and then we seem to have like, what should I say? So this comes down that way. And then there's like some spikes on this shoulder pad. And then like some more. Okay, so then his side body armor sort of comes down this way. And then it seems to come down around this. And we've got like some bits to stick out here. And then go down that way. And then his arm goes down off my page there. And comes out from the side body down that way. Right, so that's the majority of our shapes. And we gotta detail it all up and there's stuff on his back. So let's go, let's rock. So this stuff comes down around, right? The armor here. Right, and you add, add all edges and like textures and stuff to all this if you want, right? So then there's all armor inside here as well. So I got the little fin Sort of here. So this is all just like detail now So like armor lines and There's these little chevron type things here, arrows pointing up. There, there's three rows of these. Looks like it's dark, just dark black inside there. Okay, and then here as well. Man, he's complicated, this guy. And he's a weapon as well. Imagine if you had to draw all that stuff on his back. My God. So this seems to be some sort of a clip. here black in there dark under there and then we've got like some armor on his arm here that go this way on the arm there so then he's got some stuff on his neck here so we've got like a sort of a wheel thing here And this is on some sort of track that runs down towards his stomach. And then we've got like a neck line here. And this is like little lights or something. They're complicated designs, whoever does this. Like he must model all these and stuff. 
Right, that was like another little edge line on that. And that's like his arm, and we'll go like there's like a bit of a dent and stuff there. Phew! Okay, then this has all edge. And then like textures here and more armor on the arm armor get it <laughs> dad jokes right like so right and then we have like another line here like something else going that way and like a pipe coming out of the stomach there and then these sort of clips seem to hold on this sort of thing that's on them here chest armor and then another piece of armor going in there that way so I know there is no secret to this you just have to sort of add as you see right so you're just like adding little parts to them as you see them and there's like a little bolt here and like a line going down that way like another sort of line around the back of these scratches and another step down line like this you're just sort of breaking it up into like different shapes and all this kind of thing and then he's like stuff on his back that you can see sort of underneath his armpit it's like a pipe here tidying up edge lines and stuff like that now and and, oh, and he has a thing sticking up from behind his head here. Right, so at the back, right, we have this vertical box, basically. You could use a ruler for this if you wanted, right? And it's got like little edge lines and And this goes like up way higher, obviously, if you know the character. So you could keep going with that if you have more room at the top of your page. And then there is a Big Ben type clock thing going on in here. And it goes sort of in behind the head. So you've got like a circle going that way. And then it sort of comes out around here somewhere. just this like box type stuff and then there's like a cylinder sort of a gasket type cylinder with like lines that go this way along it and it's got these bolts on this and it's like a little double line here for these then another on this side goes up off the bit my page. Yep, yep. Bolts. And textures are always good for metal guys. You know, if he's got like cracks and stuff on him, maybe. He's been beat up a bit. Things like this and like, you know, Transformers and like Mecha Godzilla and things are always like very long videos and complicated drawings. But hopefully they help people out or at least inspire them a bit. 
So I'm gonna raise those lines underneath those spikes because you shouldn't see them. These ones here. But that's it. Titan Clockman from Skibbity Toilet. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.